This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. Guys, I found this article. Danielle, you'll find this interesting as well in terms of what's been happening in our market. The title of the article is Las Vegas Home Prices Rising, but not nearly as much as other markets. That's... To some people, that sounds bad. To me, I kind of like this. I, I like where this is headed. So let me give you some of the details out of the article. Uh, it starts with Las Vegas housing market is riding a hot streak, though prices have been climbing even faster in other cities. A new report shows Southern Nevada home prices are up 6.8% year over year in November, below the national rate of 9.5%. A national rate wow. of 9.5%, according to the uh, Standard Poor's CoreLogic Case-Shiller Index. That's, what, that's a big housing index, one we all refer to periodically, right. guys. Las Vegas prices rose at the slowest pace among the 19 markets reported. Um, Phoenix topped the chart for the 18th consecutive month with 13.8%. Wow. And, and then he goes on to talk about our market in general. Despite huge job losses, Las Vegas home prices reached record highs several times this year. We broke the record several times this year. Right. I want to point out that that record was 14 years old. <laughs> back, back before the, the, the bubble right. burst. It took us 14 years to get back to that. Um, locally, the housing market ended 2020 with a surge of sales, as, as it, Rick and I were talking about before. Buyers picked up more than 3,300 single-family homes in the, in the resale market last month, up 26.7% from December of 2019. Up almost 20, you know, up over 25% from the previous year. Resale closings in December was, December was the highest month of 2020. Wow. Which that, is, that is unheard of in a normal Absolutely year. Absolutely unheard of. Um, and we talk about seasonality in the market all the time, and December's not the we, peak season. <laughs> we, we are Seasonality is out the window for last year and this year. Indeed. So. Yes, I, I quite agree. Uh, the median sales price for such homes was three forty-five, three hundred forty-five thousand, and unchanged from previous month. Uh, Andrew Smith of the Home Builders Research noted in a report this week that despite all of this, he added, the local housing market continues to thrive as 2021 has gotten underway. Okay, so I say uh, for some people... Finishing 19th out of 19 is not good, you know. Well, if you're not first, you're last, you know, that kind of whatever. <laughs> um, but uh, that Ricky Bobby moment there for Carly. We're 19th out of 19, but 6.8%. I love that number. Well, I think that's a great number. That's slow, steady growth year over year. It doesn't price anybody out of the the, the market within two months. Like back in, you go back to 0405, oh. you are in the market and out of the market within three months. You know, anywhere from 3 to 5% to me is optimal on an annual right. appreciation level. What do you think, Danielle? Yes, the 13%, no offense to Arizona's market, m makes me a little- Scared, right? Yeah, a little nervous. We saw that before, we didn't really like it. Yeah. No, what goes up? What, I was, when's it gonna come down? <laughs> right. And there's too, well, you know, there's too, too high, too low. I think yeah. the other thing too is, is that Las Vegas would have never made the list to begin with. So being 19 out of 19 isn't exactly bad because we weren't on the yeah. list before. Right, there was good point. There was 19, 20 other cities that were always ahead of us. Right. And now we're actually making the list. We so. made the list. That's a great point, Rick. That's a really is a good point. It doesn't feel like we're number 19, the way our market's no, moving. No, it doesn't. And no. not the way California's moving here. What does that mean in terms of what's going to happen in 2021? What does that really mean for us? And if we're trying to, one of the things I know people tune in is they want to, they want to try to speculate what's happening. We don't really know. I mean, right. our, our crystal ball might be a little less foggy than some other ones, but it's really, it's not all that clear. I will say this. I, everything I've heard about interest rates is, is that they're going to remain low. I, I've, I've and heard I that think that'll be the, the one key indicator of how our market is in 2021 is where these interest rates are. At. And, and I don't know about you, but I'm excited about the idea that our government, our federal government seems to be getting totally involved with the COVID situation and seems to be accelerating our response to it right now. And I think that's a good thing. I think that's going to get the economy back in general. And that's what we need for Vegas. Right. We, we need our jobs back. I mean, we, yep. we had 6.8% growth and we had 15% unemployment. Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, if you put those two numbers next to each other, I bet you there's no other market in the, in yep. the entire country that, that looks like that. Indeed. Indeed. And, and, and had, we had, had we not had the unemployment, who knows what this year would have looked like. Right. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM Dawn, the talk of Las Vegas.